Hey everyone, it's Angeline. Today we're going to read the classic story, The Three Little Pigs. The Three Little Pigs, illustrated by Ed Bryan. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. The time had come for the little pigs to leave home and make their way in the world. Goodbye, my little ones. Be happy, but beware of the big bad wolf, said their mother. And so the three little pigs went on their way. The first little pig quickly built himself a house made of straw. The second little pig quickly built herself a house made of sticks. The third little pig decided to build a house made of bricks. He worked hard and his house took a long time to build. The three little pigs lived happily in their three little houses until one day, the big bad wolf arrived in the neighborhood. The wolf knocked at the door of the first little pig. Little pig, little pig, may I come in? Said the big bad wolf. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, said the first little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down growled the wolf. So the big bad wolf huffed and puffed and blew the house down. And the little pig ran squealing to his sister's house with the wolf racing after him. The big bad wolf knocked at the door of the second little pig. Little pig, little pig, may I come in? Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin said the second little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, growled the wolf. So the big bad wolf huffed and puffed and blew the house down. And the little pigs ran squealing to their brother's house with the wolf racing after them. The big bad wolf knocked at the door of the third little pig. Little pig, little pig, may I come in? Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, said the third little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, growled the wolf. So the big bad wolf huffed and puffed and huffed and puffed but the brick house didn't fall down. The big bad wolf was angry and hungry. He climbed up onto the roof and squashed himself into the chimney. The moment the third little pig heard the wolf on the roof, he knew exactly what to do. He put a very big pot of water on the stove to boil. Then, just as the big bad wolf slid down the chimney, the little pig pulled the lid off the pot of hot water and in dropped the wolf. The big bad wolf burned his bottom very badly and ran howling down the road. He was never, ever seen again. And the three little pigs lived happily ever after The end.